Dear student, I am Dr. Haran Thomas, Professor in Applied Geology, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwadale Sagar. Today, I will deliver my talk on crystal properties and in this topic, I will cover about the crystallography, crystal, real crystal and crystal models, characteristic of crystals, crystal forms, faces, edge, solid angles, zones and zone axis crystallographic axis and crystal system. Crystallography is a branch of mineralogy and cover the study of crystals. The investigation were primarily from the geometrical viewpoints, for example, shape, size, and bounding surfaces which give rise to certain basic laws. These lead the foundation of crystallography which remain a subject of geometrical crystallography will begin of 19th century. Later on when the relationship between the physical properties and internal structures as well as the relationship between crystal structure and chemical composition become evident, crystallography drew attention of physicist, chemist, metallurgist. The modern crystallography is concerned with the chemical nature of atoms in a given crystals and with the characteristic symmetry and space group possessed by the crystal. The term crystal was first used by Greeks in 400 BC for transparent crystallized rock crystals or quartz that was found in the Alps and thought to be ice hardened due to intense cold. Ultimately, the term crystal was applied in a general sense to all solid objects that are bounded by face. Considering the properties crystal can be defined as follows. Crystal is a homogeneous solid bounded by plane surfaces called faces, which are the external expression of a regular interval arrangement of constituents, atoms or ions. It means that there is no difference in a mineral, for example, massive quartz and a well facet crystal of quartz. These two quartz variety are the same in composition made of silicon and oxygen and in the order internal arrangement of silicon and oxygen during crystallization of a silicate melt. As a saturated solution, minute nuclei begins to appear which on further growth imposing on the another and the plane surfaces faces intersect into edge which on meeting together produce corners. With further crystallization we get a solid mass of grains massive or bounded by regular phase depending on the rate of crystallization and other governing factors both a massive variety and a crystal of the same substance have order atomic structures and qualify all the attributes that are incorporated in the definition of minerals. Crystal with well developed faces are not always found in nature because of changing physico chemical conditions problem in a crystal growth and like ideal crystal whose similar faces show the same size are rarely found in nature. Most crystals occur in distorted forms in which like faces are not of the same size and some faces may even entirely missing. Ideal crystal are seldom and serve only as museum specimens or as decorative pieces. 
Hence, crystal models prepared from wood, glass or any other suitable materials are given to beginners for the morphological studies. Crystal models are convenient for classrooms. A crystal form is a set of crystal faces that are related to each other by symmetry. To designate a crystal from which could imply many faces, a form refer to a face or set of faces that have the same arrangement of atoms. Thus, the number of faces in a form depend on the symmetry of the crystals. The smooth plane surfaces that bounded a crystals are called faces. The faces are mostly flattened in some crystal. For example, diamond and siderite may not be absolutely flat. They may be bounded by similar or like faces or unlike faces. This may be due to difference of their physical properties. Variation in the size of like face commonly observed in natural crystal does not mean that the crystal faces are unlike. All six faces of a cube, for example, galna, are like faces. Any one faces is like all other faces in its properties. Thus, each of six faces of a cube is identical and collectively constitute a form called cube. Crystals are commonly bounded by unlike faces and their development is required by the symmetry of the crystal. Intersection of any two adjacent faces give rise to an edge. An edge is naturally straight and its position on a crystal is exclusively a matter of the position of the contiguous faces. When three or more faces intersect on a crystal, the result is a solid angles or vertex. The relationship between these elements in a crystal can be expressed by the formula f plus c equal to e plus 2, where f is the number of faces, c is the number of solid angles and e is the number of edges. One should apply this formula on a cube to see the relation of these characteristics are related. In crystals, the faces are so arranged that the edge formed by the intersection of faces are parallel. Each such set of edges belongs to a group of faces set by face whose mutual intersection give rise to parallel edges belonging to a zone. One imaginary line is chosen within a crystal to which the set of parallel edges of a zone are all parallel. The common direction of all these edges in the zone axis. In a crystal, there may be many zones and zone axis. A zone axis is always normal to a plane on which the poles of the faces of a zone lie. This plane is called the zonal plane. A circle draw on the zonal plane with the point of origin as the center is a zone circle. The zone circles may be vertical, horizontal or oblique. To fix the position of faces in a space for a crystal, the crystal faces are referred to three common three, sometimes four axial direction. These are imaginary lines or direction and are called 
crystallographic axis. They are named C, B and A corresponding to top, bottom, right, left and front, back respectively. There is also a conversion for orienting A, B and C crystallographic axis whether orthogonal or oblique axis. Crystals are oriented by placing the A axis front positive to back negative, the B axis right positive to left negative and C axis up positive and down negative. Instead of only two axes A and B in horizontal direction, there may be three axes in horizontal plane in crystals as in crystals having three fold or six folds vertical axis. The crystal axis can have different linear and angular relationship. The angles between the positive ends of the axis are conventionally designated by the Greek letters alpha, beta and gamma. On the basis of the linear and angular relationship of the axis, all crystals are grouped under the six crystal systems which are first isometric or cubic system, three equal axes A1, A2 and A3 all are right angles to each other that is A1 equal to A2 equal to A3 all axis at 90 degree to each others. Second orthorhombic system three unequal axis A, B and C all perpendicular to each others A not equal to B not equal to C alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Third triclinic system three unequal axis A, B and C all intersecting at obtuse angles A not equal to B not equal to C alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma not equal to 90 degree. Fourth monoclinic system three unequal axis two of which are inclined to each others while the third B axis is normal to the plane containing the others two axis A not equal to B not equal to C alpha equal to gamma equal to 90 degree beta more than 90 degree. Fifth tetragonal system the three mutually perpendicular axis two of which are horizontal axis of equal length A1 and A2 but the vertical C axis is shorter or longer than the other two alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree A equal to B not equal to C A equal to A1 B equal to A1. Six hexagonal system four crystallographic axis of which three equal horizontal axis A1, A2 and A3 intersect at angle of 120 degree while the fourth vertical C axis is different length and normal to the plane containing the three axis A1 equal to A2 equal to A3 intersecting at 120 degree. Today in crystal properties topic I have covered the crystallography, crystal, real crystal and crystal model, characteristics of crystals, crystal forms, faces, age, solid angles, zone and zone axis, crystallographic axis and crystal system. For further studies please read the books and references given in the text. Thank you very much. Thank you.